These are the seven best tips to learn music production as a beginner. Make sure you stay to the end because I think number seven is gonna really surprise you. If you don't know who I am, I'm Leezy the Gifted and what I do is I teach recording artists how to become their own producers in 90 days. I've been doing music for 13 years. I've produced and released tons of songs. I know what I'm talking about. I've helped tons of people do it. Trust me, let's just get into it, okay? Number one is don't over gear up, okay? I see so many people think that they need to get so many different things when you really don't. Here's exactly what you need to be able to produce. And I'm talking about produce instrumentals, record vocals, mix and master. I'm gonna tell you all the hardware first. You need a computer, you probably should get a Mac, but if you have a PC, that's fine. Uh, you need a computer, you need a microphone to record vocals. You need an audio interface, that's to connect the microphone to the computer and the audio interface is kind of the middleman. And you need headphones. Here's what you don't need. You honestly don't need a MIDI keyboard, <laughs> okay? Especially if you don't know music theory. You don't need a MIDI keyboard. You don't need speakers. You can use your headphones. Uh, I see so many people think, I gotta get this gear and I gotta get that and I need to get this software. The only software you need to get, you need three things. You need a DAW, Digital Audio Workstation, Logic Pro, Ableton, FL Studio, Cubase, Reason. I don't care, you just need, you need a DAW and you need to get Splice for 12 bucks a month so that you can get loops and samples and stuff like that to make great beats, and you need arcades so that you can have more options. That's literally it, and arcades 12 bucks a month. That's it. Get some mixing mastering software as well, like Waves, you can get some extra plugins, and Isotope Ozone 10 for mastering. You don't even need those things to start. You, you, you probably should get Splice and Arcade, and that's it. You don't need a lot. You don't need to go get speakers. You don't need to go get extra stuff. Like, don't think you need to go get a bunch of crap, okay? So number one, don't over gear up. Number two, don't over complicate. And when I say that, I mean, don't over complicate your process, okay? Do not over complicate your process. The actual process of creating songs should be extremely simple. I know that when you're first learning music production, especially if you're trying to learn it on YouTube, like you are right now, it can be really tough, but it's not that hard. You need melodies, then you need drums and bass, then you need to arrange the beat into different sections like verse and chorus. Then you need a song, right? Then you need to record, obviously. Then you need to mix everything. Then you need to master it. It doesn't need to be overcomplicated. Your song needs to sound great, and here's the thing I've learned too. You can't mix a crappy song. If you can't sing or you can't rap or you can't write, like if their song's not good, it doesn't matter how good the mixing is and you can't master your way out of a bad mix and you can't mix your way out of a bad song. Simple as that, don't overcomplicate your process. Okay, I'll give you an example. I've got multiple clients in my academy, Rapid Fire Music Academy, but one guy I wanna highlight in particular was Devin Christodoulou. Bro, he didn't overcomplicate it. He works like 12, 13 hours a day at his job. He records in his laundry room and he did three songs in the course of 90 days. He, he produced, wrote, recorded, mixed, and mastered three songs. He was super, super determined because what he had done before was he used to pay $1,000 per song to get fully produced, mixed, and mastered. And he got three songs done in 90 days. Do you think he overcomplicated the process? No, not at all. And he doesn't even do hip hop and rap. He does folk singer songwriter stuff. A lot of people think that in my academy, you gotta do hip hop and rap. You absolutely do not, okay? Ryan Budvitis, uh, he had taken a seven year break from music, came back and in 90 days created 30 beats. He produced 30 beats, produced, wrote, recorded five songs and had finished mixing and mastering one of them. Fair to say he got his investment back on, on the program. So don't overcomplicate it, all right? So point number one, don't over gear up. Point number two, don't overcomplicate. And point number three is you need to have a balance between inspiration and comparison which is really hard. You wanna be inspired by their artists. You wanna take their sound and say, you know, I really love the way that sounds, but you don't need to compare yourself. Comparison truly is the thief of joy. It's true. You there, But when you're doing things like mixing, for example, which is balancing every single piece of the uh, song together, it's gonna, you're, you are gonna need to kinda do some comparing, right? You're, it's called a reference track. So you're gonna wanna hear their song and go, okay, how does their kick sound, their 808 sound? How does their bass, what do their piano sound like? How does the vocal sit with their song? So it's very, very tempting to start comparing yourself and say, I'm not as good as them, or I'll never be as good as them, you know, or I'll never make it with this music thing. No, 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 no. No, negative, negative Nancy. Tell negative Nancy's to stay on the other side of the street. You feel me? Like, don't come over here to our, our cookout. Negative Nancy's aren't allowed at our cookout, okay? 
you can be inspired and there will be a time where you're gonna need to compare and contrast your song to other songs, but at the end of the day, do not let that hold up your inspiration, okay? Number one, don't over gear up. Number two, don't, <laughs> I had to look back, don't overcomplicate your process. Rule number three, make sure to balance between inspiration and comparison, all right? Okay, so this one is gonna be really good. So number four, I'm just gonna put org instead of organized. Time. Do a little clock. Number four, be organized with your time. Look, here's the deal. Life happens and the fact of the matter is you probably have a nine to five, you probably work 40, maybe even 50 hours a week. And it's gonna be really hard to like learn music production, actually execute, actually make songs, and then be able to put them out and do all the other stuff. That's why you have to be organized with your time. You have to be organized with your time. I'll give you a great example. Um, my client, actually I got two great examples. Let me start with Ange. So one of my clients, Ange, she's actually my first ever client. She was in school, in college. She was, she was 18 when she joined. She's 19 now, but she was 18 when she joined. She was in college and was working and was doing a couple side gigs and trying to learn music production. So what she's done, I think really well is she has been able to organize her time, balance out her time and still learn production. She started out in the program and she got, she used to take three months to make a song. Now she got two songs done in eight weeks and now she's making really great money as in like four to five K a month as a college student selling beats online from what we've learned in the academy. The other example I have is Carlos, Carlos Casada, AKA Carlos SB. He works a lot. He's working full time, 40 hours a week, was still able to get in the first five weeks, he made five beats, got his first full song written, and now he's released like, fuck, I don't even remember, three or four songs that he's fully produced and they're, he's just becoming a consistent hit maker even though he's working, okay? So I've got tons of other examples like that, but. The fourth one is definitely be organized with your schedule. All right, number five is, number five is get the right software. Okay, so when it comes to getting software, it's very tempting to get a ton of different softwares. You don't need a ton, here's what you need. You need a DAW digital audio workstation, get Logic, get Ableton, get FL, get Cubase, get Reason, I don't care. Get a great DAW, not BandLab, not GarageBand, not Voloco, not some free garbage shit. You need to get an actual DAW. Pro Tools is good, obviously. Don't get something for free, okay? Um, for producing instrumentals, you're gonna need to get Splice in Arcade, I talked about that. For mixing, go get Waves, that's really easy, Waves Creative Suite. For mastering, go get Isotope Ozone 10. Splice is 12, Arcade is 12, Waves is 25, Isotope is 20. All in, you should be paying, it, they are all subscription based. All in, $69 a month. Come on, bro, let's, let's, let's get real. And then, you know, you have to obviously buy your DAW, but that's easy, so awesome. So those are the first five. I've got two more for you. Don't over gear up, don't over complicate. Balance between inspiration and comparison. Be organized with your time, get the right software. Number six. The microphone's getting in the way. Number six is, I love this one. This is one of my favorite. Number six. <laughs> Number six, don't think, just play. I kind of touched on this a little bit. Oh my God. We love overthinking, don't we? We love to think, and we love to plan, and we love to uh, 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 all these things. No, don't think, just play. Music is supposed to be play. And it's really difficult. We put so much external pressure on our music. I've gone through this too, of course, uh, from doing music for 13 years. We put so much external pressure on our music to do something for us, to give us something. But the truth is that's not how you become great and that's not how you make great music. Music is play. Music is fun. Music is enjoyable. Don't forget that. It's supposed to be the most enjoyable thing that you've got going on, okay? So don't think. Just play. And number seven, I'm gonna actually erase every other one so that this one gets all the attention. This one, you might be kind of surprised by. Let me tell you what it is. I love writing with a marker. Don't do it alone. When you do become your own producer, <laughs> look, 
Look, I went through this too. It, it, you're gonna end up sitting in the freaking room by yourself, okay? You're gonna end up spending a ton of time by yourself and it is gonna get lonely. You're gonna be banging your head against the wall. You're gonna get, your ears are gonna hurt from all the beats and mixing and everything and, and it's just gonna be really, really tough. You don't need to do it all alone. Okay, even when I first started making my own beats, recording, mixing, mastering, I would invite my friend Gabe, hey man, come over, let's just both make music in the same room together. Hey bro, listen to this, check this out. Hey man, how do you think this sounds? He would do the same. I'd be like, yo, I don't need you here to track my vocals and record, but like, can you be here with me just so I don't record alone? You know what I mean? You don't have to do it, and that's the cool part about being your own producer is you don't need to wait on anybody, but it's still okay to actually have other people get involved with you. And then the other thing too, is when it comes to learning music production, that's tough to do it by yourself. I know that's what I had to do. I went to YouTube, just like you're doing right now, you're watching this video, and it took me four years to get great. And I'm talking about learning four to five hours every single day, Monday through Friday, going through YouTube videos, trying to execute and all that stuff. It's super hard and I do not recommend doing it by yourself. It's way better if you have a mentor, if you have a community, if you have calls you can go to, if you have people that you can lean on to actually learn the production and collaborate and bounce ideas off of each other, you will thrive, okay? And that's exactly why I started Rapid Fire Music Academy and it's why I've been able to get so many of my clients such great results like the people I brought up today, like Devin, like Ryan, like Carlos, like Ange, like other people I didn't mention, like Anthony Straw Hat Dynasty, like Jaden J. Bass, like Austin Bishop, so many more, like Cameron Penman, like Franco Militelli, like so many other, I could just keep rattling them on, Alex Browse, like I could just keep going on and on and on and on and on. The reason is because they're around a community. They have a structure. They don't have to just rely on a bunch of loose YouTube videos. They have a structure. They have a community. They have me to lean on for one-on-one -on -one calls. They have group calls to come to once a month. They have the private Discord to come to. That's why in 90 days, people like Jaden, Jaden used to rely on a producer and they just could never meet up because the producer had stuff going on. And Jaden was like, bro, I have music that I'm passionate about and I want to do this. I need to figure it out. I've already tried YouTube and it doesn't work. He joined my academy in the first 60 days. He got his first song done and now he's been putting out a new song every month for six months. Like get with it, bro. This is how you're supposed to do it. So if you enjoyed this video, awesome. If you actually got value out of it, even better. If you want to actually join the academy, all you need to do is click below, go watch the full training on my channel, which is pinned to my channel, but you can click below. And all you need to do is go watch it. It breaks down the entire process, the entire program with all of these client results live. So you know I'm not faking it. And then if you wanna apply for the Rapid Fire Music Academy, you'll be prompted to do so at the end of that video. All right, so if you, if you got value and you wanna actually learn more about how to produce your own songs, you wanna get off YouTube University, you wanna stop wasting your time, you wanna actually get your music out there, click below, go watch the free training, and I'll see you on the other side. Peace.